With cell phones, texting, and emailing, it seems like there would just be no room for Morse code, right? Yeah, but one Sacramento yeah. group says the first digital language is pretty similar to the way that we actually communicate today. Yep, similar and secretive, and they're basically using this language to preserve the past. Morse code may seem like a dead language compared to how most people communicate, but not to the W6 SFM club. It takes me away from reality. The members tap multiple times on the key just to send one letter over the radio. A comma and a period, for example, both require six taps with the original keys. Seems tedious if you have a smartphone. But Michael argues Morse code is actually similar to modern technology. It's basically the original texting. Except you don't need a phone contract or cell service. This radio was brought with me to the Philippines and I talked to over 12 different countries. All with a piece of wire hanging 20 feet from a coconut tree. Some Morse code keys really are high tech. Michael has a 2010 electronic key where the radio creates the dashes and the dots and the key goes as fast as the operator can push it. He used this key to change my mind about Morse code being a slower way of communicating. So I'm here with Michael, he's a Morse code operator, and we're going to see who can communicate a message the fastest. If I can text faster, or if he can communicate a message via Morse code faster, and we're going to do the lyrics to SOS, the ABBA song. All right, you ready? Okay. Yep, he beat me by three words. We see the club's tools as time capsules, but Michael hopes to bring in some fresh tappers. When I'm older, I'm going to end up needing to speak to somebody in Morse code, and in order to, to do that, I need to bring in a new generation of amateur radio operators who enjoy Morse code. So interesting. So interesting, and such a cool club. They actually have a member, his name is Dwayne, and he actually brings a portable radio with him to the hospital for terminal, for really ill, sick children, and he teaches them how to use Morse code, and oh, he basically great. feels that it really, uh, it's very uplifting for them. You know, I was thinking in watching that, I bet you, though, there's probably some 11 or 12-year-old who could beat him at, at texting. <laughs> I've seen kids go like this, like, you know, there's in school, and they're I don't know. Be, and they're I, he quick. is really fast. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they could take him to the mat.